Hello Celtics fans, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Celtics first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. On Friday, March 3, the Boston Celtics fell to a shocking defeat against the Brooklyn Nets courtesy of a second-half collapse. When speaking to the media following the game, Nets guard Spencer Dinwiddie noted how Brooklyn looked to take advantage of the Celtics' defensive gamiplan, especially as they were looking to have Robert Williams in his usual weak side roamer role. They tend to like to put Robert Williams on a four or one of the shooters instead of him guarding the five. That way, they can still play their switching defense with a traditional pick and roll, and then he tries to come and clean up the mess as guys drive, Dinwiddie said. Williams has been slowly improving since returning from injury earlier this season and is currently averaging 8.4 points, 8.6 rebounds, and 1.5 assists per game while converting his field goal attempts at a 75% clip. Dinwiddie, 29, is currently on his second spell with the Nets, having been sent to Brooklyn as part of the Kyrie Irving trade with the Dallas Mavericks. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Celtics Thanks. Continuing. Miles Bridges shared how Brooklyn flipped a switch during his own post-game press conference, Brooklyn's Michael Bridges discussed what led to Brooklyn's comeback win and how their change in mentality allowed them to overcome a stern Celtics roster. Just defensively, playing together, Bridges said post-game. We was getting stops, and once we could get stops, we were getting out in transition and scoring. So, I think we kind of realized a couple games that offense really wasn't our problem in the beginning. We had to switch our offense up a little bit, you know, see our space and everything. But I feel like our offense is pretty good. But this defense, we got stops, and we just stayed together. Possession by possession. You can't get it all back in one play. So, we just kept fighting and stayed together. Boston's loss to Brooklyn is the second shock defeat in their last three games, having fallen to the New York Knicks on March 1. Jason Tatum focusing on the next game The Celtics have been among the best teams in the NBA this season, but are clearly going through a difficult spell to begin the final stretch of regular season games. When speaking to the media following the Celtics' latest loss, Jason Tatum noted how he's simply shifting focus onto the team's next game. We lost. It was tough. But disbelief? No, we didn't play well. They played better than we did, and usually, you lose. So, it's not disbelief. I don't even know if it's anger, we play too many games to be angry. Move on, get ready for the next one. It is what it is, essentially, Tatum said. In an uncharacteristically poor night, Tatum struggled to score the ball, going 0 of 7 from deep and 10 of 23 from the field, ending the night with 22 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. The Celtics will now turn their attention to the New York Knicks, who they are scheduled to face on Sunday, March 5, in a game that they will be hoping to win in order to start regaining some momentum. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Celtics I update you at any time with the latest news from Celtics.